Hello fellow VSFers. In this tutorial, you will learn how to extend View Storefront middleware by using the extensions and more specifically, custom API methods. Let's take a look at the diagram that shows the architecture of View Storefront. So under the hood, View Storefront uses two main blocks. First is the front-end layer that is based on Next.js framework. We have the composables and then we have the server middleware that is just an Express.js server that is responsible for sending appropriate requests to either e-commerce, CMS, search, authentication or anything else. This Express.js server will have a set of methods that will be used by the composables to get the product data, category data, maybe a user. So you will have this defined array of the API methods. But what if you would like to have a custom one, the one that will fetch different data? You will learn this in this tutorial. To write custom API methods, we will use integrations and you can check them out in the documentation right here. If we take a look at the extension that is used to extend the integration, we will see this structure, this object here. It will have a name. It will have the property or can have property like extend API methods, which we'll be using today. And inside here, we will be able to both modify the existing ones and create new ones. We can also extend the app, the whole application, and we can also do something on certain lifecycle hooks of our view storefront application. So the process of creating this custom API methods will be divided into two steps. First, we will need to register an extension like here, and I will explain it in the code in a minute. And then here is also the exact example of adding new API endpoints. And next in here, we will use this newly created API method inside our theme and inside our front-end application. The project I will be using in this tutorial is based on the Commerce Tools integration for VS Storefront 2. However, the process of creating this custom API methods is the same for all of them. Let's jump to the code and add these custom API methods. I have the project already fetched here and it is running in the background. So as the first step that we need to do in order to create these custom API methods is to go to the middleware.config.js file right here and right below the configuration, we need to create the extensions. So extensions and it is a method that will return an array of extensions. So it will accept the extensions array that are the default extensions created by view storefront. So what we'll do here is we will in this method return an array and inside of this array, we will return the extensions, the default ones created by view storefront. And just below it, we will create a new object. And this will be our new extension with the custom API methods. So we will give it a name and we will name it my custom API extension. And below it, we will say extend API methods and it's an object and inside this object we'll create a new name for our new custom method. I will be fetching the total amount of products in our e-commerce shop. So I will name it get total products and it will be an async function 
that as a parameter we'll have access to the context, the context of the middleware. And inside this middleware, we'll always have access to the client and the client will be responsible for sending a request to an appropriate service. In this case, the commerce tools integration, the client that is underneath the view storefront middleware is based on the Apollo GraphQL. So it will be client here. This method will fetch the total products by using the GraphQL query. So in here we will say return and await as this is a request client dot query as we will be sending a GraphQL query. And inside we will open up an object and we will say query and in here we will be sending our raw GraphQL query. In order to correctly process it, we will be using the GraphQL tag. So we will say in here for now, for now GQL and then the backticks. We will import the GraphQL tag in a minute. And we will say query and inside products and just total. Let's import right now the GraphQL tag here. We'll go to the top and we will say const GQL equals require GraphQL tag. The new extension with our custom API method was already registered. In order to make it work in our project, make sure to restart your server or start it. Right now, let's use this new getTotalProducts method in our template. We will go to the homepage here. We will go to our script tag right here. And in here we have the use context. And inside this use context, we will also have access to the view storefront middleware. So inside we will say $VSF. Let's copy it. And right here, we will say on mounted, just so we will be able to see the actual request in our Chrome DevTools or any other browser to DevTools. And we will say async and inside await, or we can even do const result equals await dollar vsf in here we need to pass the name of the integration so dollar ct for commerce tools api and then the name of the method that we were using here so get total products and we will just console log the result as well Let's go to the browser and see the result. If we inspect our page and go to the network in the XHR, we should see get total products, which is just the new method that we created in the payload in the preview. I'm sorry, we will have the data products and the total. And if we look at the console tab, we will have the same total 2703. From this point, what you could do is to create a new custom composable. And I explained the process of creating such custom cos composable in the previous video, because this approach certainly works, but we can make it better by wrapping it around the view storefront composable. 
Just to sum up, we have created a new extension for our View Storefront Commerce Tools integration, and we also created a custom API method, a new one, that we also used in the template in our homepage.